Represent API Studio's unique multi-file capability for Swagger OpenAPI enables you to split a large Swagger spec into component files using external cross-file references. This promotes component sharing and reuse, and it makes it easier for multiple people to work on large, complex Swagger projects at the same time. There are two types of references in Swagger, local or internal, and external. An internal reference points to an element within the same file and starts with the pound or hash character followed by the path to the referenced element. And an external reference points to an element in a different file addressed by a relative URI and may contain a pound fragment delimiter followed by the path to the referenced element. Represent API Studio fully supports the OpenAPI 2.0 specification, which allows you to use references for paths, parameters, responses, and schema definitions. We'll explore this feature using the multi-file Uber example, which serves as a blueprint for this approach. The main file is here, and files containing paths, parameters, responses, and schema definitions are here under the components folder. Starting in the main spec, you can see that each path has been defined in a separate file located using an external reference. All references must conform to the JSON reference and pointer syntax, and the quickest way to create a valid external path reference, for example, is to use Code Assist. This automatically escapes characters in the path that would render the reference invalid if included literally. Note, for example, how each forward slash is converted to a tilde 1. Code Assist uses scope cycling to find elements that are valid pointer reference successively in the current file, project, and workspace. Hold Control or Command on Mac and press space once to find elements in the current file. Keep holding Control and press space again to find elements in the current project, and press space again to find all the valid elements in the workspace, and again to cycle the scope back to the current file. You can jump to referenced elements using hyperlink navigation. If you hold the control key down or command on a Mac and mouse over a pointer, it becomes a clickable hyperlink. Using this, I can jump to a path definition file and from this to files containing parameter, schema, and response definitions. And you can go back through the navigation history using the back arrow here. To find the keyboard shortcut for this on your platform, see the button tool tip. You can also navigate using Quick Outline. Hold Control and press O once to open Quick Outline for the current file. Keep holding Control and press O again to see outlines for all the files in the current project, and again to see outlines for all the Swagger files in the current workspace. Note that you can filter the outline to find what you need, like this. The Live Documentation view consolidates the documentation for the active file and all referenced files reachable from it. Parameter, response and schema definitions are shown unless the current file defines a path, in which case it just shows documentation for this. And you can use link buttons inside the Live Documentation view to jump to definitions wherever they may be in the file graph. Clicking here, for instance, reopens the file containing the path definition. Finally, if you need to take your multi-file Swagger specs out of Represent API Studio and into contexts where multi-file is not supported, you can merge them into a single file using the highly configurable Swagger Normalizer Gen Template. The output of the Swagger Normalizer Gen Template can be controlled using parameters so you get just what you need. And you can find full documentation for this Gen Template here.